Hello, this is going to be a tutorial of the across the chest roll. Like every move, there are a lot of different iterations of this move that you can do. So the basic across the chest roll is going from one arm to the other with your arms outspread. You can also do a half across the chest roll, where you lay it on your heart and let it roll down your arm. You can also do a chest roll from the front where you let it crisscross your body so it comes across your sternum and goes over the opposite shoulder and you catch it up here. You can catch it from the inside and to the outside um, and you can do lots of things after that. So I'm going to break down the across the chest roll for you in both of those, all those forms and uh, try to help you understand the different parts of it don't expect to get them all at once, but just know that they all exist so you can work on them individually and make your across the chest roll smoother and smoother. So the across the chest roll starts with hooping to the front of the body. You need to keep your plane nice and level and straight like it's a window or a wall in front of you. When you're ready to deliver it on your arm, you're going to take that straight window out to the side. And then perhaps comes the most complicated um, movement, which is the hand change, where your hand has to move from inside of the hoop to outside of the hoop. Let me break that down for you. So your hoop is this. You have to let it, as it's coming from the bottom up, finish its circle and land in your palm. Ideally, you want it to land in your palm so that your middle finger runs along the hoop or your, for, your pointer finger so that you can balance it and give it a push up. So once you've delivered it to your arm, you want to try to make it land on your forearm and you want to open your arms so that the insides of your elbows are exposed to the sun and you can feel the air on them. And then you want to drop back in your back. And you don't want to drop back from your head, which is our inclination to just go boom. We want to drop back from the lowest vertebra up so it's like we're leaning back one vertebra at a time so it's smooth and we let our arms relax so that our shoulders hang back and we have a smooth plane across here for our hoop to run. On the receiving hand we also want to have the inside of the arm open and we want to let the hoop run down the middle of our palm so that it ends like this and we can either grab it from the front or from the back. <laughs> Mulder, you excited? You're so cute. Um, so the other aspect of this is breathing. Often when we're doing something that we're afraid of or we feel stressed about, we forget to breathe. So before you even start this move, let your hoop go and start breathing deep and long. Deep in, slow, and deep out, slow. And as you play with this move for the first time, Notice if there's a place that you stop breathing and breathe into that place. Just keep breathing into that place. Make your hoop go nice and slow. And then we're going to extend our arm and do that little hand flip where our hand goes from inside to outside. So first just practice that. Inside to outside. Inside to outside. So from here, the next thing to think about is you're breathing, and what I do is I exhale as I release from my bottom vertebrae down. So I go deep breath, release. You want to keep your gaze up at the sky. Don't look at the hoop, even though I know that your instinct is to say, something is coming at my face, I should look at the hoop. Don't do it. Look up at the sky, allow yourself to trust, allow yourself to breathe. Close your eyes if you need to. So the next thing is to think about letting the hoop come all the way across here. So we're going to take it out, deliver it, breathe and relax backwards. We're going to extend our, our receiving hand with the thumb up so the hoop runs down the inner arm and lands in that hand. Your goal is to try to do the hoop with such control and such slowness, practice for slowness that you can almost make it stall on your heart and then push your heart up to carry it on its way. So this is a two movement movement with your arms. The first arm, the delivering arm, 
goes out, lets the hoop land on it, and lifts up. The receiving arm lets it land on your heart, and then your heart lifts up and lets it go down that arm. So, and I forgot to breathe right there. I noticed when it came up. So just notice that, and then next time say, I'm going to breathe in and out. It will help you relax a lot. So, just practice going. Breathing in. Practice catching the hoop so that it lands in front of you. You're just slipping your hand in and going. Or so that it lands behind you, which means you slip your thumb in and go, and then you've got your fingers in. So all hand movements are movements between the fingers and the thumb, like we're a little lobster. So if you can start to think, it's in front of me, I want my fingers in it. If it's behind me, I need my thumb in it, at least for a minute, and then you can get your fingers in. So to practice the half chest roll, you're going to get your hoop going steady and nice and flat, just like we did before. And you're going to deliver it onto your heart by taking a deep breath, relaxing back from the bottom vertebra up. Sit it on your heart, let it go down your arm and practice catching it. You'll probably find this one easier, which is why I introduced the other one first. Do it first, because otherwise you'll start to kind of depend on this one. And it's nice, but it's not as pretty as... Okay, so we have been practicing in the uh, front plane. Let's practice in the side plane. So we've got the hoop going backwards, and backwards, of course, means if it's at the top, it's falling to behind us. So we've got the hoop going backwards. We're going to have to do a handing chain, just like we did before. Our hand is on the inside. We need to let it go around the thumb and end up on the outside with our index finger flexed. And then we're going to deliver it straight up our arm while we relax back and relax our arm up. So we're just delivering on the body, raising the arm. And we've got an across the chest roll, a full roll from front to back, which I think you'll probably find the easiest roll. I do. And it helps me if I have my back, one of my foot, the foot that's on the side of the arm that's receiving back, it helps me get a little bit more stretch. It's somewhere almost between a straight front and back and a side to side. It's like a catty corner roll. So that's a full roll front to back, but you can also do a half roll. So we're going to deliver it right on our heart. And finally, there are some drills that you can do. So you can practice doing an across the chest roll, catch it, break and across the chest roll, which will help you to get better at both directions. Allie, I dropped my cool hat that you gave me. I wore this so you could see it. I really like it. Thank you. Um, you can also do uh, a half chest roll, break, a half chest roll, break. <laughs> Let's see. I think that's pretty much all I've got to tell you about drills and the different things. Just pay attention to your breathing. Take a deep breath in. Hold it for a second and take as much time letting it out as it took you to draw it in. Relax for a second in that space and take another deep breath in. Your breath controls your entire, everything about hooping. It's how you set tempo, tempo it's how you keep your breath. <laughs> so, remember to breathe. And if you notice that you're stopping breathing, just pay attention to that spot and breathe into it. I hope this makes sense. Sorry about the dogs barking. Say hey, Mulder. Give a kiss. <laughs> He's so not doing that. Sorry. <laughs>